Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4, part 265. And in this segment, I'm driving a big green. A big green roof. I'm driving the RGT8 in S Class for the beginning of the second half of the multi class section. And it's going to be S Class versus D Class. So, without further ado, let's get going. Here's the uh, driver lineup. You see there. So. With that, let's not upgrade my car, and uh, let's get racing. Here's our five venues, so without further ado, let's get started at Road Atlanta. Alright, here we go. I'm not going to say let's get started again, because I've already said that way too many times in just the intro to this video. So, on pole, as always, here at, in multi-class racing here at Road Atlanta, off we go. Decent launch off the line. And going to be easily uh, P1 into turn 1, so this is probably going to be an easy first race because Road Atlanta is fairly easy in general. So, yeah. Hey, Vincent. <clears throat> and we already have a little bit of a two-car breakaway between myself and Rossi, at least it was for a moment. And then Moore's like, heh <laughs> no, you're not getting away from me, were ya? No, oh, pay attention to the road in front, damn it. I was looking back too much at the uh, Rossi Moore battle. By the way, that freaking that Maserati actually looks really cool with the with the Miller's gray <clears throat> on it. The gray and blue. Kinda prefer it over the white and blue, like the normal colors of the uh, Maserati white and blue. Meanwhile, this is happening. This, uh, this RGT may be pretty low in S-Class, but it's not without its power. Just freaking blew by both Rossi and Muller. I'm actually a little bit surprised that I Alex Sotary that Maserati, considering it's the Maserati MC-12 and also it has upgrades to it, making it even faster. But there we go. So I see where the strength lies in this car. And that's its uh, straight line capabilities. Oh shit. Big slide. I mean, this car doesn't handle all that bad. Like, it's definitely, you know, not as good as what I'm used to, but... think, I don't even know. No, it's, but, uh, yeah, it doesn't feel that bad. Honestly, I think the worst thing on this car is the brakes. Maybe that or I'm just underestimating how quickly this thing actually accelerates. I don't even know. Hello, Vidor. He's down the long back straightaway. You know, stay in a chance. Rossi's kind of screwed down this straightaway because that Lotus, while very quick in the corners, not so much in a straight line. I mean, it is a Lotus, so you know. So nice two laps down, three to go. Getting to upshift because fuck me. Someone's trying to sell a 97 240SX for 100k. Oh, hold on. But bro, it's low miles. It's got less than a thousand miles. It's ultra rare, clearly. Come on, extremely low miles. It adds value. All the up shifts now. Go me. And we're closing in quickly on the uh, D class. By the way, there's another class racing. Kind of forgot about that. Whoopsie. Goodbye, 
high mileage, 240 SX, and restore it back to perfect stock for under 20k, but yeah. But it's not original miles, therefore, ha. Uh, has this joke gone on for long enough? Because I'm tired of saying it. <clears throat> oh shit, pay attention. We got some, uh. slower class cars to pass. Smooth around everybody. Looks like Johansson's uh, not dominating as much as he's used to in these uh, multi class events with his D class car. You know, he usually wins in class by like five seconds at least. Not so much this time. Of course, there's still two laps to go. driving like garbage all of a sudden. Implying I wasn't ever before. <laughs> I always drive like garbage. I mean, someone on 4chan said I was slow, so therefore it must be true. Final lap. And have a fairly comfortable Evangel Muller. Not a typical Road Atlanta advantage. Only 400 feet, which is probably like a couple seconds, but hey, there we go. I fail guy. Oh, three and a half seconds. Okay, it's more than I thought but still less than I expected from this place. <clears throat> so that'll be interesting. Oh, okay. Let's just go fucking super wide. Completely missed the turn, don't mind me. Fuck up the chicane and we'll be fine. Pretty early. I wasn't even early, I was like right on time. I guess I'm using the not Porsche. And there we go. Hey, best lap on the last lap. Love when that happens. Well, that took forever to wait for. Three minutes. Oh, three and a half minutes between class winners, so oh boy. Anyways, I win four seconds over Muller, Ray, and Johansson gets his uh, win in his Seat, so it continues his D class dominance. And we run race down. Let's move on to uh, race number two. Alright, and race two takes us to Catalonia for, I'm guessing, five laps around the national circuit. Yep, five laps, okay, so off we go. Race number two, underway. Give everyone a smoke show behind me. <clears throat> Eat my fucking tire dust. Smoke, tire smoke. Okay. Hello, understeer, my old friend. How the fuck are you doing? Jesus Christ. That was, some, that was some crazy understeer. Anyways, ah! Apparently I don't know how to drive this car around this track. Take things a little slower than I think I can, apparently. 
as there's just a big pile behind me. Fighting for second. Got Evans alongside Rossi now. I think Evans is in the Reventon. The Revenston. <laughs> eh, eh, please kill me. <clears throat> yeah, they're just fucking piled together. Behind me. thing is I have the lead so yay now I just gotta hold it for the next four laps which hopefully won't be too hard as long as I actually make it through this first turn <clears throat> not break too late I'm starting to get a feel for this thing around this track. I know what it can do. So, hey, I'm building a gap. Two seconds ahead of Evans. Oh boy, Esposito's in third. Because, you know, Esposito. Hashtag fuck Esposito. Mighty itch in my nose. Oh. Just trying to wait till the straightaway, but oh god. That was bad. <clears throat> okay, anyways. Now my personal crisis is over. Let's continue cruising around Catalonia. Good. And Lotus not really working out too well for Rossi here. However, <laughs> this rough is working out wonders for me. the D-Class crew. <laughs> Excuse me. That was just inevitable since, you know, nose itch. And hi bye. Oh, this is not going to end well. That did not end well. God damn it. Like, I was hoping I could just move my car over to the left to actually avoid hitting that guy. Um, I did not. I, I failed miserably in that. Now I have a shit ton of damage. Actually, that's not even a shit ton. That's a fuckload of damage. Luckily, my steering is fine, so, you know. Excuse me, Johansson. My steering is fine, so... Don't have to worry about that, at least. Now, if I can somehow get around these fuck boys. Well, yeah, these fuck boys. We shall see. I'm only gonna have one lap, though. To get around both of them. And we're fairly even on pace. Could probably dive into turn one, because I. Like, if I do it correctly, that is. Alright. Come on, car, accelerate. Shit. Well, um, this is not good. Dive! Alright, guys, Esposito. I gotta 
somehow get around Evans and his Revan's Tawn. Okay, zero. Fuck. Went wide. God damn it. I still have a chance. I'm just gonna bully Evans out of my way, cause or not Evans, Esposito out of my way, cause Esposito doesn't matter. Alright, you ready for a retard dive? Because I, I believe that's what we're serving up on the menu here. Or not. I could just fuck everything up. That works too. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. There's a retard dive. The last possible place to make any kind of move. And this was a horrible race. But hey, there we go. <laughs> I won. Alright, so after that fucking adventure, here's the, uh, results. Of course, I nearly squeak out the win over Evans, and, uh... A little bit easier time for Johansson in D-Class, as expected. She wins by five seconds over, uh, Kim. So... There's race two. That was a fucking mess, on my side. Now, uh, let's go to race three. Okay, race three takes us to the peninsula. So, uh, let's not destroy myself as well as a, uh, a, a D-Class car in this race, shall we? <coughs> so, uh, let me just die. And get the, uh, early jump from pole. And probably win this race until I inevitably fuck up one of these chicanes. The fucking Cornell. The Cornell and Ridge Racer 5 is so good. Like, it's probably the best car in the game. Like, for, like, in terms of actual, like, pace and also ease of driving. Like, it's not the easiest car to drive, but it's the e easily the easiest, like, dual car to drive well. Just getting scared to drive. <clears throat> Oh boy. Rossi went for a move from me earlier. Shut that door. I think Sunshine's going to be DLC for Forza 7. I think it should be free DLC for Forza 7, if anything. Because, you know. Two and three sixties and one hundred eighty miles per hour. Just, just Ridge Racer things. Oh, I carried way too much speed into the kink. Holy crap! All right. Got a two second gap on Rossi, so no dives this time from her into this hairpin. Come on, car. Work with me here. On the penultimate Grand Prix, so you're doing the, um... Let's see which one is that. Is that the reverse course one, or the time trial, or the time limit one? I can't remember. <clears throat> right, 
two laps down, two to go. I'm gonna break super early for the kink. So I can actually make it this time. And have a much easier time in this race than it was at uh, Catalonia. And even at uh, uh, Road Atlanta. I actually have a larger gap, I believe, this time. Wait until you unlock the 99 trial zero. Have fun. Oh Jesus, how you doing? Fucking bicycling the shit out of this car. Almost flipped it over. The fucking radio DJ is great in Ridge Racer 5. You're tuned to 76.5 FM, Ridge City Radio. No, no, it's just Ridge City FM, shut up. Anyways, hi. I promise not to murder anybody this time. <clears throat> As I almost murder the Abarth. One lap to go, nice and smooth, slow down a little more so I don't cause you know the slower traffic. So there we go. I kinda got, you know, lucky with the traffic since I uh, passed most of them on the uh, speedway. So I didn't even have to try. As for uh, everyone else, uh, they, they kind of had to put forth some effort, although we also got around them very quickly and efficiently. <clears throat> Do I like green cars? I'm not a big fan of the color green, but on some cars it works. Like this car, I actually kind of like this green. And I do kind of like British racing green as well. But overall, I'm not a big fan of green. <clears throat> and the green on the, uh, you know, the Mazda 787B. Fat livery, you know that one. Hey, Denny. God damn it, Zero, you're making me want to play Ridge Racer 5 now. I hate you. JK, we love you a long time. And an uh, easy win at the peninsula. And here's the results of the race. So, waiting is fun. Anyways, I ended up beating Rossi by six seconds in this one, and Johansson once again taking victory in D class. Nothing different there, but still gotta show it off just because I care enough to show it off, and there might be that one person in existence that also cares. I don't know, but, um,. Anyways, to race number four. All right, race number four takes us to Maple Valley, the track everyone's talking about nowadays because of its, you know, return in fourth seven, which it, deservingly so, because Maple Valley's a great track, and it's kind of the poster track of the series, really. At least it was until, you know, they took it away in five and six. But it's back, baby! <coughs> Anyways, got four laps around here. Ross is trying desperately to get around me, and I'm making it easy for her. Very good. But momentum is no, and also I can easily out accelerate her Lotus, so never mind. Thanks for coming. Now you see why I consider Ridge Racer 5 my favorite racing game OST Zero. Oh, jeez. Hello, Rossi. Because it's really fucking good. <clears throat> Pay 
attention to revs. Not really worried about Rossi passing me here. Because there's plenty of places I can get her back and then pull away. Holy crap. Once again, almost flipping the car. I really should stop doing that. GT Sport is VR now. Thoughts? Uh, cool for people who like VR. I don't give a shit about VR, therefore I don't care. <laughs> That's my thoughts. My favorite song from the Ridge Racer 5 OST? Uh, probably Euphoria. Actually, definitely. Well, I don't know. It's either Euphoria or Fogbound. Because those are both excellent songs. And then Night Ride is a close third. Alright, get the fuck back here, Rossi. Let's try to protect the inside a little better this time. Or not. So it's a little late on the brakes. I mean, VR looks really cool, and once it gets, like, you know, once VR starts, like, aging and, like, getting, you know, more fine-tuned and stuff, it's gonna be amazing, especially for racing games. I just don't give a shit about it. Oh, God. Probably upshift, that'd be a good idea. Car's, uh. begging. For you, it's tied between Drift Devil and Paris. Those are two great songs as well. I mean, the entire fucking soundtrack is amazing, so you know. Favorite song from Sonic Mania? Uh, that's a tough one. Because they're all so good. Probably Lava Refact, too. The guitar, man. It gets me. It, it touches me in places that are very pleasurable. Very pleasurable. I just realized how much Rossi and I have just fucking pulled away from everyone else. Two car breakaway, yo. <clears throat> Even the Pac Man songs are really good. Yeah, it is. So there's not a single bad song in that OST. Oh, oh, oh! This is not a good place to uh, be catching the D-class cars. Uh, evasive maneuvers. Ferris song from Burnout Revenge. Um. The crunch of all the traffic cars as I plow through them at 200 miles per hour. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't really remember the uh, Burnout Revenge soundtrack very well. I know I had a. Uh, I know I had Beast and the Harlot, or as it was censored in that game, Beast Ellipses, and. Um, didn't it also have Lights and Sounds by Yellow Card? That was a really good song as well. Other than that, I don't really remember that soundtrack much. Would I drive a Fiat? Well, I, like, I like the modern 500, so yeah, I would. I would, in fact, drive a Fiat. Way 
is almost and yeah, at the end of this race. Still got Rossi breathing down my neck, but as long as I keep my car on the road and don't flip it over with these curbs, I'll be just fine. Just gotta uh, use some throttle control and all that shit. Oh yeah, Dance Dance was in Revenge as well, that was a good song. Hey, remember when Fallout Boy didn't suck massive cocks? I do. Anyway, so I went at Maple Valley, yay! And, with everyone across the line, I think, uh, yeah. One by two seconds over Rossi. Ten seconds between Rossi and Esposito, nice. And, uh, Johansson with a very comfortable victory in D-Class, so, woo. Anyways, that just leaves one race to go in the S-Class, multi-class thing, so, uh, let's go to it. Alright, here we go, in our finale... Is at the Nurburgring. Oh boy, we're only doing the national course, so interesting. But uh, here we go. Four laps around the Nordborg Rorg, and turn one of death. So careful, careful. Damn it! I was gonna swing on the inside of Muller there, but Evans is like, Haha, nope, I'm taking that spot, bro. So ah. Uh, well, this is not a good start at all for me. Getting shuffled all the way back to fourth. Oh god. Car getting very upset over the curbs. Come on, go. We're on Evans. Use that acceleration. Okay. Well, um. Yeah, that was a less than opportune start for me. It's all Evans' fault. He took my line. Bastard. How dare he try to take the lead for himself. Doesn't he know I'm the most important person in this damn game? Ooh, boy. Oh, yeah, that's right. God damn it. Last time I went around the Nurburgring, I think it was in Forza 5, so uh, I, I was used to using the proper chicane here, and not the uh, endurance chicane. I was not prepared. Whoopsie. Oh well. Still got around Rossi. Bullied my way around her, but still. That is Weber. Listen, they both drive blue cars, alright? I easily get the two confused, especially when I don't look at the leaderboard. Anyways, Mige. So, Weber. Oh, that was way too late on the brakes. Holy crap, that wasn't even an intentional dive. I just was way too late on the brakes. <clears throat> I guess it worked out for me, though. It's when they able to do the crossover. Chicane. Moving skid marks everywhere. I'm biting your head off. It's biting my head off for not realizing. Ford Racing 2 soundtrack, but I'm listening to the Forza 1 soundtrack right now. See, this is the quality shit you're missing out if you're not watching the streams. Ha ha, anyways. <clears throat> God, I hate this first sector. I don't even hate this first sector, I just don't really like it much at all. 
I greatly prefer the rest of the track over that first sector. Too slow around that turn. Okay. Guess I'm holding the lead very well. Gonna have to deal with the D-class cars in turn one. Oh boy. Can't wait to die. fucking die. <laughs> no, it's not because I flipped the bimmer at that section that I don't like. I just don't really like this set series of turns. Just not really a fan. Just something about these is just kind of off for me. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know how to explain it. Whoa! How you doing, Johansson? Almost ruined your race right there. And your win streak. Power slide. CD sound system. I don't think I've ever heard of them. So, uh, I, I don't have an opinion on it. Oh, crap. There we go. Off the final turn, have a comfortable gap over Weber and Esposito. And take the victory out of a uh, pretty, well, first half of the race is pretty crazy. Second half, not so much, because I just kind of pulled a gap on everyone. I love watching these post-race shenanigans between AI drivers. Got a really good battle going on here between four people. Anyways, but that's post-race, so take the victory by almost four seconds over Weber. Rossi ended up last in our class. Whoops, and... um. Once again, Johansson takes a comfortable win in D-Class, so there we go. Another full sweep for both myself and Johansson. And... Ta-da! I don't know. I was trying to think of what to say other than there we go. Because I like to repeat the same phrase over and over again within seconds, but... uh, Yeah, that's the uh, S-Class multi-class event complete so that next time on Forza 4 what are we gonna drive in the next multi-class event I don't know stay tuned to find out